My name's Garrett Amherst. If you haven't heard of me, that's okay. Not many people have, even though I do like to believe I'm famous on the inside. I'm speaking for GLBT Future today on behalf of a very close friend of mine from elementary school. And I'd like to talk about open relationships. My personal story. Last year I was kicked out of my house, not because I was gay, just because I have douchebag parents. Can't always uh, choose your family. I was kicked out of the house and I lived with a friend until I was 18. And then I moved to Washington from the state of Arizona, which was a very big change for me. I was able to move to Washington because I had a boyfriend that was living there, someone I had met online. And at first he seemed like the person who perfectly fit me. It was a very big step to take, but we had been together for the last seven months. About eight months. Eight, eight, eight months. And when I met, went there, things were fine for the first couple of months, but something went awry very quickly. And it was the idea that he had that eventually we should have an open relationship. If you don't know what an open relationship is, it's a very simple concept. It's two people who are dating are allowed to have other sexual partners. Now, in my opinion, I think this idea is rather terrible. And I will tell you why. Because I had tried this once before with someone else. And at first I thought it was going to be okay. But when I did do it, I felt awful. I felt betrayed. So I thought I would try it again, because I am a person who gives second chances. During the summer, he was going to come visit me before I was kicked out. Unfortunately, my parents, being the uh, wonderful people they are, didn't let him come visit me. In this instance, he got very depressed. As I had met him already for prom, and we had been very intimate at the time, he began to have new obsessions. They were very frightening. He claimed that he needed to be close and intimate with another man, and he kept expressing this claim, and at first I said no. He had found a college student online that he didn't know that he was going to have sex with. I said no several times, but finally I decided I would be nice and say yes. I didn't think he'd actually go through with it, but he did. And on the inside, yet again, I felt terrible and betrayed. But I let go of it. I decided I would get over it and be the bigger person in the relationship. So I moved there which provided a wonderful escape for me, and a great new start to my future. I don't regret doing that. It was a big change, and yes, the weather did kill me. It was icy and cold and wet all the time, and I hate getting wet. For the first few months, our relationship worked fine, but every time we had an argument, it always ended up coming down to the same thing. Should I allow the other to sleep with other people? And I came down to saying that I would stick with my guns, and hopefully he would find what he was looking for before we went off to college, which would have been the time that he would have been able to be wild, and see other people. But alas, the idea of not being able to be with other people was too much for him, and he broke up with me. It was a very hurtful reason, too. I thought that maybe we'd be able to settle our differences, and I continued living there. But I just found that I began to grow hating him more and more, especially when he sang. That was really annoying. And playing piano really loudly when I was trying to take naps. But I digress. My message to you today is that you need to think very heavily about these things when you try them out. Both per people must be in complete agreement because otherwise there's always going to be ending up with feelings of jealousy. And that's no way to have a good relationship. Think about what you're doing because when it comes down to it, having sex with someone else isn't just fun at the outset. It's messing with you on the inside too. So make sure you're close with the person first. At least that's my opinion. You might have a different one, and I respect that. My name's Garrett Amherst, and if you'd like to talk to me further, click below. There are ways to get in contact with me. If you have any questions, I'm always here to talk to people. In fact, playing therapist is one of my favorite things to do. Just remember that my advice is not professional, so I'm just like Dan Savage in that aspect. If you have real problems, I would advise that you get in contact with a real medical professional or call Dr. Drew on Loveline. He knows what he's talking about. I hope you all have fruitful and fulfilling relationships and always remember to keep yourself in the center of your life at heart. Thanks guys.